Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. And Boo Radley wanted to be in the video today. He said, Dad, I never gonna be in the video because Pee Pee's always in the video and Pee Pee's there and Tucker's right over there. So they're gonna be in the video today. And um, I wanted to do something a little bit different over here. Um, I was trying to think of what to do and I was like, I do tags all the time and I do hauls all the time and I do book reviews and I wanna do something different. And I didn't want to really do some deep discussion today. So if you watch my other channel, Peterisms, well, actually, I have three other channels. I have a vlog channel. I have a story time and just kind of sharing things in my life channel called Peterisms. And then I have a main drama channel where I talk about YouTubers. But anyway, on my Peterisms channel, I talk a lot on there about, like, personality traits and things I've learned about being sober and stuff. And so every Tuesday, I have started doing tests on there, like online personality tests. So I was thinking about it and I was like, I want to do like, there has to be some kind of reading or bookish tests out there. So I Google searched it and I've actually, I think I've seen somebody else do this in a video before. But today I'm going to take, and it is on bookbrowse.com. I will link it below if you guys want to go take it. Because it doesn't allow me to read you guys all of the results at the end. You just put in your answer and then it like, you know, programs it for you. But it says, book lovers, what is your reading personality? What's your reading personality? Are you an eclectic, serial, exacting, or involved reader? Find out now by taking Book Browse's fun, fast, and not to be taken too seriously quiz. Seven questions in all. And uh, so let's get right into this. I thought it'd be kind of fun to do something different. Okay, question one. You've got an hour to spend in a library or bookstore. Where do you start? Uh, bounce around from section to section, browsing whatever looks good. Check out my favorite authors to see if there's anything new. Chat with the bookstore staff to find out what they recommend. An hour in the bookstore in my dreams. Well, I spend an hour in the bookstore all the time. I love going to the bookstore. Um, I think that I would say bounce around from section to section, browsing whatever looks good, because that's kind of typically what I always do. Um, okay, next question. Are we ready? Oh my God, what could it possibly be? Uh, number two, what do you look for when choosing a book? I usually cho choose books that have been recommended to me by friends. That is true. Something a bit different or unusual. That is true. A book by one of my favorite authors. That is true. The next book on my to-read list. Okay, what do you look for when choosing a book? So I'm trying to think of the last couple of books I've picked out. They were typically either, um, never books that are on my to-do list or to-read list. Um, book by favorite author. Yeah, that's true. Um, books that have been recommended to me my friends. I have to say that typically I buy books that I've heard about from booktube or I see on like bookstagram or you know read articles on books by book bloggers so I will say that by other friends. Okay number three you're in your local bookstore and you see that an author signing is scheduled for the following day. What do you do? Well if it's me you for completely forget about it because my memory is not great. Check to see if it's one of my favorite authors. If so I'll, it says your favorite author. Oh, that author signing. Okay. Check to see if it's one of my favorite authors. If so, I'll definitely try to go. Otherwise, probably not. If I happen to be passing at that time, I'll probably drop in and see what's going on. Put it on my calendar. I love to go to these things, even if I'm not familiar with the author. It looks interesting, but the chances are I just won't have the time to go. That's not true. Uh, check to see if it's one of my favorite authors. If so, I'll definitely try to go. Otherwise, that uh, first one. Okay, number four, which of these quotes <laughs> appeals to you most? Oh, this will be interesting. Uh, read the best books first, or you may not have a chance to read them all. Read them at all. Henry David Thoreau. When I get a little money, I buy books, and if any is left, I buy food and clothes. <laughs> Erasmus. Uh, it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Aristotle. Choose an author as you would a friend. Wentworth Dillon. I'm going to say choose an author as you would a friend. I like that quote. Um, question number five. You've heard about a book that looks like it may be good. What do you do? If it's an author that I've enjoyed in the past, I'll probably just buy or borrow it without any more research as I know I like the author. Okay, what? This is like long. You've heard about a book that looks like it may be good. What do you do? If it's an author I've enjoyed in the past, I'll probably just buy or borrow it without any more research as I know I like the author. Okay. That's true. I don't have a lot of time to spare, so most of my information comes from a handful of reliable sources. If one of them says it's good and looks interesting, I'll probably buy, borrow it based on their advice. That's true, too. I'll check it out online and try to read an excerpt in some more reviews, as too often books don't live up to their hype. 
I've done that before. I'll probably spend some time asking friends, visiting websites to find, I'm not, no, it's not that deep to me. Um, if it's an author I've enjoyed in the past, I'll probably just buy or borrow it. It's just not that deep to me. And I, it's another reason to buy another book that I want to see or read. Number six, you finished your last book. What do you do? <laughs> well, I'm always reading about six at the same time. Call up a friend and see if they've got any books they can recommend or can lend me. Check around the house. There's sure to be something interesting that I haven't read yet. Oh my God, how about 900 books? Reread my favorites until I find a new book to enjoy. Never. Look up the list of books that I've been waiting, wanting to read and order one. Well, I will just pick up the next book that I have reading. Check around the house. There's something to be that I haven't read yet. So I guess that one. Check around the house. Uh, okay, and question seven. Your friend's having a birthday party and you've decided to give him or her a book. I do this often. What do you get? A book that, that's a bit out of the ordinary, but I think he'll she'll enjoy it. A book by a new author I've just discovered and maybe I can borrow it later. No, I would never do that. A book that's a part of a series that I enjoy. No, I wouldn't do that. A current bestseller that I think will suit him or her. No, I wouldn't do that. A book that's a bit out of the ordinary, but I think he or she will enjoy it. That's what I typically always do. Oh, it says you must pick an answer because I didn't pick an answer because it was a stupid question. There are no stupid questions. Didn't your teacher tell you that? The reality is there are stupid questions. <laughs> okay. Click here to see your result. This will be interesting. <laughs> the serial eclectic reader. Your response, to, this is so true of me too. Your responses show that you're both a serial reader and eclectic reader, which indicates that you both read widely and frequently. As a serial reader, you're loyal to your favorite authors. But as an eclectic reader, you're also open to new ideas and new writers and are not wedded to a particular genre. That you manage to both keep up with your favorite authors and explore new writers indicates that you are likely to be what the research companies like to term a heavy reader. And a book browse membership might be just what you've been looking for. Oh, no thanks. But I appreciate that book browse. But I'll tell you what I will do is I'll send everybody to your test because I think that's a fun test. So that was fun. Um, I mean, I kind of already knew that. But like now I know. What does it say I am? Oh, here, let me screenshot it. I am a serial eclectic reader of the world. Did you know that, PP? Did you know that, Boo Radley? Look at Boo Radley. Boo Radley, what kind of reader are you? He said, those bees are real hard, Dad. I'm still trying to figure them out. All right. Um, I will link it below. You guys should go take the test. It's a lot of fun. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.